guys pickles and i wanted to show you some of the things that i purchased today at the grocery store we are preparing for chemo round 15 uh this upcoming wednesday and um manny and i went grocery shop shopping um because as you know once i'm on chemo i can't pretty much function and it's so important for me to have these foods um on deck. The reason for me posting this is because as a cancer patient myself, I know I'm very curious as to what my cancer peers are eating during chemo, what they're able to tolerate, what they're able to keep down, specifically on the chemo regimen that I'm on. Um, it affects your digestion and your gastric system greatly and makes a, a big impact on it. So um, eating a bland diet, uh, low in sodium, low in sugar is important. Um, but also there is no rule of thumb. There's no right or wrong. I know when I was first diagnosed, I was very anxious about that. You know, you get diagnosed and then you're like, oh my goodness, what can I eat? What can I eat? Oh my goodness, is this feeding my cancer? Is this gonna be bad for me? Uh, but after um, trial and error, 15 rounds of chemo and going through gastric surgeries and stuff like that, um, what I've come to figure out is that there is no rule of thumb. You know, if you're able to tolerate it and you're able to um, eat it and feel okay, then it's valid, okay? Even, I mean, you'll see in some of the items that I show you, I just wanted to, um, you know, just be honest about that. You're not gonna see a bunch of greens. You're not gonna see a bunch of fiber because I can't eat that during chemo. It'll literally exacerbate my diarrhea problem, if I'm honest. So anyway, I just wanted to leave this on here because um, some of you have asked me, like, what do you eat? What do you not eat? Overall, um, right now, I am trying to eat minimal animal products. I don't consider myself a vegetarian. I don't consider myself a vegan. I don't like using those terms, but overall, I can't have dairy and I'm limiting animal um, products as much as possible. So. I don't know, whatever you wanna call that diet, I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna turn the camera on and I'll show you um, some of the items that I buy and I'm able to eat, drink chemo. All right, so starting off right here, a bunch of carbs. Carbs are your friends during chemo. When I tell you these bagel things save my life, they save my life. I'll have this in the morning. Um, sometimes I'll have it with vegan butter or sometimes I just have it plain because that's the only thing that sounds right. Soda crackers, I'm like an old lady. I have them in my pocket all the time. I have them everywhere. These keep the nausea down. They're great um, for just keeping you full. Make sure you have something in your system so the medication that you're having, that you're taking doesn't make you sick. Bananas. Um, almond milk um, yogurt. I love this stuff. Sometimes I can eat it on, on chemo. Sometimes I'm like, no, thank you. Can't even smell it. It just depends. But I like to have it just in case. Don't ask me why. Last time I was on chemo, I had the biggest craving for this. <laughs> um, Uncrustables. I never really eat these, but I had Manny go to the store last time and he couldn't find them. <laughs> so this time I saw him at the store and I picked them up. Yes, it has a bunch of sugar. Oh, well, sorry. I don't know tilapia fish i'm having fish a couple times a week um low sodium we hardly put any seasoning on it the reason for that is because you know it keeps me strong has high protein and there are a lot of benefits in fish i don't eat meat and i don't eat pork i don't eat chicken but i will have fish um and over here i have these tuna packs sometimes these are really high in sodium so i try not to use them uh regularly but honestly they taste good and i eat them sometimes all right moving on essentials potatoes boiled potatoes like in a mashed potato i eat this all the time when i'm on chemo it's bland i'm able to hold it down it fills me up bunch of carbs it's perfect black bean burger sometimes this is basically when i'm coming off of like the chemo um side effects which is like day four or five sometimes i can tolerate this so i bought it and i have it definitely when i'm off of chemo i love this this is the public brand i really like it it probably has a lot of sodium too but oh well nuts because i'm not really eating meat nuts are uh, an important source of protein i add these to i don't know if i make like a um a rice bowl which by the way jasmine rice i eat a lot of carbs again i'm able to tolerate it during chemo but nuts are important um rice cakes if i'm in the mood for a snack during chemo which is far far between like hardly ever i'll eat this 
Um, I love cucumbers when I'm on chemo. Obviously, I peel them. I'm able to tolerate them. Um, they're great. I love the crunch. I love the taste. Um, blueberries, I add them to my oatmeal. The oatmeal that I use is this low sugar um, instant maple sugar. I mean, ma yeah, maple, brown maple sugar. I like this brand. I add a little bit of almond milk to it and I have that with blueberries and strawberries. Cheerios, this is new. This was my, my nutritionist actually suggested this. Um, I, I, I don't know. They, they sound good. I don't know if I'll be able to tolerate them during chemo, but why not try, right? Eggs, I hardly eat eggs, but my nutritionist kind of is encouraging me to have eggs, um, just scrambled egg whites. I might do that. I saw these at all these. I love sweet potato. They're like little sweet potato uh, bites. I don't know, they're for kids. I figured I love sweet potato, why not try them? I'm gonna go ahead and try them this time. Um, the organic unfiltered honey, I use that all the time. I kind of make like a bowl with um, oatmeal and add some berries to it, put some um, honey on top. This right here, almond butter, I love it. Sometimes I'll spread it on this stuff and then my nutritionist even suggested when on chemo, since I'm eating very, small amounts or low doses of protein just to have some crackers again i'm not a nutritionist this is what works for me now as far as hydration this is where you guys might really 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 judge me but i cannot have water during chemo i can't i can't i hate the taste of it if you're going through chemo you know what i'm talking about these things right here are lifesavers i have a bunch more in the fridge this is just what i bought today vitamin water yes they're high in sugar i'm sorry Sometimes I dilute it with water, sometimes not. This is what keeps me hydrated. I'll have this. When I'm off of chemo, trust and believe I'm not drinking any of this. I'm having loads and loads of water. And then this <laughs> apple juice is so expensive. It's like 10 bucks for this jar. But last time I was on chemo, this saved my life because I couldn't even have divide. I couldn't even keep this down without gagging. But for some reason, having apple juice and diluting it with water was perfect for me. So I bought that. Again, like I said, guys, there's no right, there's no wrong. This is just what works for me. If you have any any humble suggestions for me, I'm not going to do anything radical um, <laughs> during chemo. This is just what works for me. But if you have any suggestions that specifically work for you and they're bland and you're able to keep them down, please send them my way. I want to know I should also that. mention when I'm off of chemo, I'm eating a lot, a lot more fiber. I have brown rice, I have quinoa, I have lentils. I'm able to tolerate all those things. I'm having so many more greens. Um, I love salads, I love lettuce, I love carrots. All that stuff I'm having when I'm off of chemo. Um, and I'm also having multivitamins. Say bye. <laughs>